You never know what might happen if you're just a little bit social when you're out. This is a clip from right after I went to the gym. I really didn't want to go to the gym today, but here I am. I finished shoulder by try, did some pull-ups and dips as well, and Stairmaster, and I made a new friend. I was commenting to the guy coming down the stairs behind me. I said, dude, your ideal, your body is like the ideal body for me. Like he was... He was ripped, he was very lean and also very quite muscular and I was like, damn, that's a good body. And it turns out he just came from Korea like last month. So I said, let's be friends. And so we chatted for a good five, 10 minutes and got to know him a bit. So it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm finally being a bit more social at the gym now. So that's good. So after getting in touch with this guy, I hopped on the phone with him just now for like an hour, got to know him a bit about his life in Korea and Seattle and here just coming just one month ago. It's pretty interesting to hear about other people's lives, their backgrounds and what their struggles or what their obsessions are with him. His obsession is building his body and going to the gym every single day. And this guy's a beast, man. Like after a two hour minimum of working out, he does an extra hour of Stairmaster if he has time. And when I said, what level does he do? the Stairmaster on, he said between 7 or 9 or 15, depending on whether he's trying to burn more fat or more cardio. If he's trying to burn more fat, he does a lower speed. If he tries to burn more carbs, not cardio. If he tries to burn more carbs, then he does a higher speed at like closer to 15. And I'm thinking, I do Stairmaster at level 9 for like 6 to 10 minutes and I'm dying. <laughs> and this guy does it for an hour at a faster speed? I mean, what the fuck? Uh, it's crazy, this guy's level of cardio and leg strength. Anyways, he was telling me that before when he was in his teens and early 20s, he was underweight by a lot. Like he was not even qualified to go to the Korean army because he was so severely underweight. And the fact that now he's a super buff, ripped, not just buff, but ripped like very low body fat as well. It looks super good. And the fact that he transformed his body to that, what an amazing transformation. Although it is to the point where it is almost like an obsession because even when he's eating or working, he's thinking about the type of workout he wants to do tomorrow, what he's gonna try out. Like it's just a constant, I guess, obsession. Just thinking about the next workout and the next workout all day, every day, what to eat, how to balance what he's eating. I don't think I'll ever get to that level of obsession of working out, but I'll be happy if I have half the results that he does by being half as obsessed as he is. So yeah, all that stemmed from just one comment saying, dude, you have like an ideal body type. If I could look like you, that would be great. Just that one comment and we just had an hour long conversation on the phone just now. And I'll probably keep in touch with him and maybe this will be a new budding friendship, who knows. So it's pretty cool to be social. If you're thinking something, say it. To the stranger, especially if it's a nice thing, which when you're thinking about something, at least for me, it's usually a nice comment and I just hold it back usually, but it's good to say it out loud. You never know what might come of it. I'll see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Cuties. What you take? <laughs>